Hey guys, it's Kaz. We're back here customizing Killer Instinct, and we're looking at my favorite accessory sets for Thunder. For his default costume, slot number one, I went with the bone headpiece and the bear boots. And I believe those are the default axes. I think this set looks pretty good on just about every color. I like how the feathers on the headpiece change with every color too, that looks cool. I really like that headpiece a lot, it's probably my favorite one that he's got. For slot number two we went with the bone headpiece with the red and white stripes on it. Same with the legs. Uh, he's barefoot with the red and white stripes and he's got the bone weapons. That looks real cool, black and red always go together well. I like that combo and then we got the strawberry banana milkshake thunder. And color number eight is pretty cool as well. For slot number three, we went with Big Bear Thunder here. We got the bear headpiece, the bear boots, and the brown bone weapons. I didn't care for the bear weapons, the little, they look like little ribs or something, I don't know. They're too puny. I wanted something bigger and more blunt. I really like it here with this color number eight. That's just a mean headpiece in general. Looks good with color 9 too, the brown and the green scheme, kind of nature scheme going on. I like the brown bone weapons too, they, they kind of tie the headpiece and the legs together, looks good. For slot number 4 we went with the white wolf headpiece, uh, the white legs, barefoot to match, and the default axes. Looks pretty good here in color number 3 with the blue pants. Color number 6, the great white wolf, looks pretty cool. Color number four looks pretty cool there, the black and white. I like number seven, full white milkshake wolf thunder. <laughs> looks pretty mean. I like how the chest paint being white kind of blends right in with the headpiece, it looks pretty tough. Number five is pretty awesome here. We got the red, red and black axes, default boots, and the black wolf headpiece. Going with color number four here with the black pants and the black face paint. Looks pretty menacing, I like that a lot. He ain't fucking around. And for number six, we're looking at color nine here. We got the last color for the bone tomahawks, color five for the tomahawks, and same with the headpiece. And I believe the legs too, they're all the last accessory slot to unlock. Looks good with the color nine. And moving on to his retro costume. I think I speak for a lot of other people when I say I wish his retro costume was a little closer to his classic costume from KI-1, um, but that's been discussed to death and nothing's changing, so we're just going to look at what we got here. For slot number one on his retro, I went with the green camo pants, the red mohawk, and the kind of bladed tomahawks. That's pretty much the closest we can get to the KI-1 version of Thunder with what we have to work with. For slot number two, I went with the construction pants, construction weapons, and the red mohawk again. The orange pants and the mining picks go together really well. Definitely looks like a, a prison worker. Number three, full construction set. Pretty much the same as the last one, but with the short brown mohawk instead of the red mohawk. And this also looks good in color number three, the camo pants. Those pants are pretty much awesome on, on all the costume variations. For slot number four, we went with the full Outlaw set. Again, using those green camo pants. It matches the Outlaw headpiece with the green and the black bandana. And just the bladed tomahawks look pretty sweet with it. Slot number five, although I never used this one, I did want to set up a mechanic version. So there's the Biker Mechanic Thunder. Yeah, I don't know, with all the different cool weapon options he has, I I never use this set. It looks pretty decent on color number one, and also on color number five here, which changes the jacket up quite a bit. Again, I never really used this set, but I wanted to have the option, so not bad. And then for his last slot, number six, we went with the construction weapons, construction pants, and the outlaw headpiece. 
So all in all, I really like his default costume and all, pretty much all the accessory options for that. I think those are really well done. They all look very different. Um, retro costume, I don't care for a whole lot. I don't use it a whole lot. And the weapon choices are cool. I like those outlaw axes and the, uh, the mining pick construction weapons are cool. So all in all, for Thunder, these were my favorite default customization options. And these were my favorite retro customization options. As we're getting closer to Season 3, it'll be interesting to see if the older characters get more accessories and more colors. I kind of doubt it at this point. Um, but, you know, it'll be fun going through all the new characters. Kim Wu and Tusk and a bunch of guys we don't know about yet. It'll be fun seeing what kind of options they have. And I'll definitely cover them in the future. So if you guys want to follow these and check out more customization videos, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe. You can also check out the full playlist to see the other videos that I've done for the other characters. And we'll see you guys next time.